Hey, what's going on guys? Jay here, back again with another video. Today's gonna be a quick one. We're just gonna kind of go through my process, my whole workflow from start to finish, how I go from shooting photos on the street, transferring them to my phone or computer, and getting them all the way out to social media or whatever platform that I want to upload to. So let's not waste any more time. I'm gonna take some photos and then I'm gonna demonstrate to you the first technique and possibly one of the easiest techniques and the fastest techniques that I have found so far. So yeah, let's get to it. So over there is a really nice wall with a very bright yellow door and some green foliage. And you've got that contrast of the bright colors with a gray accented wall on the other side. So split right down there makes a nice image i'm going to take a shot right now f4 actually all right guys so now that we've taken our photos now i'm going to show you how i'm going to go about transferring the photos that i just took straight onto my phone so i used to be using the um you know that that fujifilm application that you have on your mobile phone that you connect wirelessly to your fujifilm camera if you're a long time fujifilm user you know how annoying that process is you know the whole you know it's actually really painful sometimes it connects straight away sometimes it takes you know minutes and sometimes it just doesn't connect at all but fortunately i want to show you guys how easy it is to transfer the photos straight from the SD card to your phone without using the uh, Fujifilm app and the wireless connection and all that stuff. So very simple, you only need one device, okay? So the device is this thing right here. This, it's kind of like one of those um, USB to SD card, SD, sorry, SD card to USB sticks that you can connect to the computer but this one is special because it also comes with a USB-C connector on the other end and this is useful if you have a mobile phone ah, sorry if you have a mobile phone like mine it's a Samsung and it has a USB-C port at the bottom to connect to you can connect this device right here simply plug what? simply plug the SD card into the SD card slot and then connect this USB-C port to your phone like so and your phone will read whatever's on the SD card and that is the fastest way to transfer your files directly from your Fujifilm camera to your phone no more messing about with wireless with Bluetooth or whatever it is straight to your phone using this one device so let me show you how it works I'm going to take my camera here, I'm going to grab the SD card out. Whoa. Again, the X XS10 is really difficult to get the SD card out, it's really fidgety. I'm going to stick this SD card into the slot right here. I uh, don't know which way, this way. Like so. And then once we've done that, all we have to do is plug it into our phone simple and now let's go look at our phone and see how I go about editing it and transferring it to something say like Instagram okay so let's have a look so right now I'm on my phone I've got the USB-C connection connected to my phone with the SD card connected to this device what I'm gonna do and this is an Android phone by the way if you're an iPhone user I'm sorry this is for Android phones you're gonna have to find a way to do something similar on your iPhones so what I do so I'm going to locate my files on my Android phone and on my files I'll be able to see USB storage 1 and that is the USB device that I just connected into my phone and once you get to this screen you'll be able to see DCIM that's the SD card so click that and 146 underscore Fuji that's that let's click that and boom you've got all the photos that you've took on your SD card 
right here on the phone and what's great about this is you can also see a preview of the Fuji RAW files as well which actually you can't even do on a computer so I'm amazed how this phone can actually preview the thumbnails for uh, the, the RAW files on a Fujifilm camera so as an example I'm going to take this JPEG file right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it straight into Snapseed so I'm going to go just once open it with Snapseed and as you can see the file is now loaded onto Snapseed I'm going to make some quick adjustments you know just looking at this file right now it's already pretty good but uh, we can just kind of give it a few light tweaks so I'm going to go to whoops I'm going to go to tools I'm going to go tune image and we're going to make it just a little bit brighter and I'm going to punch the contrast up just a little bit and saturation maybe we'll push the saturation up just a little bit as well to give that blue and yellow some nice pop and shadows uh, we'll give it a little bit more shadow not too much and that's about it you know that that's kind of what I want out of this image everything else is right now if you want to change the aspect ratio obviously you can um, I'm going to change it to say I don't know I'm, I'll, I'll leave it as it is because I'm going to use it as a story so what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this out I'm going to share it and I'm going to share it to my Instagram stories I'm going to press stories and boom instantly it'll take you to the story screen and all I have to do is press your story and voila it's that simple it's so fast it's like with this device right here you can move any of your files straight from your camera into your phone and upload it really quickly or edit it really quick and upload it really quickly onto Instagram it takes no effort at all it takes very little time and it is so much faster than using the Fujifilm application I hope this helps now let's move on to the second method where I take the SD card home and we'll show you how I process the images at home on an actual computer let's go all right guys we're back at home right now and I've got the SD card that I took photos of here and I've got the USB card reader over here so instead of using the USB-C head this time around we're going to use the USB head over here same process we can stick the SD card into the USB card reader and we're going to plug it into the computer now I took photos of um, stuff using the XS10 and currently as uh, and as of currently there is no uh, com compatibility with the XS10 uh, when it comes to raw files um, I think they're still rolling out the new update or I have yet to update my software uh, so I can't actually open the raw files at the moment on Capture One or Lightroom uh, but we're going to work with the JPEG again and I'm just going to show you guys you know treat it as a raw file we're going to move it into Capture One and we're going to edit it and export it as I would normally would so let's jump onto the computer and let's see what we can do okay so now that I've loaded into Capture One what I'm going to do is I'm going to well I'm currently using a a folder but uh, um, for the sake of this tutorial, all I'm going to do is import it into this folder. I'm going to click import and I'm going to choose the USB drive and I'm going to locate the JPEG file which is right here and click import. Alright, so now that we have the image imported and loaded into Capture One, let's go ahead and edit it a little bit. So what I would generally do is I go in, I'd edit my video, uh, edit my photo, tweak it a little bit, you know, bump up the exposure, do the contrast, um, 
you know, reduce the brightness a little bit, maybe increase the saturation just a touch. Uh, let's bring down, let's bring up the shadows just a little bit. Let's bring down the highlights a tad. Um, give it a bit more white, just a little bit. Bring down the blacks to give it a bit more of that contrast. And then, um, oh, and you know, something that you can't do on the phone, I think, is uh, give it maybe a curve. We'll give it a slight curve, maybe a RGB curve. Bring it up, give it a bit of a fade, bring it down, and do all that random editing that you do you don't want to you know muck around with the photo too much or i tend not to these days anymore but once you have the photo um, edited all you have to do is click export and it's just, it's just a matter of you know exporting the um exporting the photo to a chosen folder and then once you have done so you then proceed to connect it back and upload it into your phone. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna export it into a folder. Just click export, that's good enough. And then once it's finished that, what we can do is we can use a USB to USB-C cable like the one shown here. You should have gotten one uh, with your Fujifilm camera. If you haven't, then you can go out and buy one of these for really, really cheap. So what you do is you get the USB, plug it into your computer, then the USB-C, you plug it into your phone, and then you can then transfer the files over to your phone. Um, I don't know about iPhone users again, because I'm not fluent in iPhone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, plug it in. And we're gonna go ahead and go into File Explorer. I have my photo saved in a specific folder. I'm gonna navigate and find it. Okay, so I've located my folder. I've located my file. I'm gonna click Copy and I'm going to locate my phone go to card and then I'm going to drop it in to say uh, I'll just drop it straight into the card and that's as simple as that so now when I access my phone and I go to my files again I can locate that photo onto on my phone and then what I do is I proceed to upload it onto Instagram so it's just the one extra step. It doesn't go straight from your SD card to your phone. It actually goes from your SD card to your computer and then back into your phone. But um, the advantages of obviously editing on your computer is if you're editing a raw file, you have more you know, latitude in terms of the um, details that you can get out of the photo, something that you can't really do on your phone. But I find myself these days just taking a photo and then editing it straight on my phone and then uploading it really quickly onto Instagram just because the film simulations on the Fujifilm already look really good. So if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these um, USB drives, you can probably find them all over the place on eBay and Amazon or you know, I bought mine on AliExpress. Um, I will include a link to something on Amazon or maybe eBay for this product so uh, check the description box below to find out where i got mine and yeah hope you guys found this useful it's not something that um, a lot of people know about i think especially the first method the second method everyone knows about but the sec uh, the first method i think it's it's new for me as well i've recently discovered this um, and hopefully now that you know you don't have to deal with uh, the fujifilm application anymore because we all know how annoying that is. <laughs> so, really quick video again. My name is Jay and I'll see you in the next one.